hey, there's been a lot of thoughts jumbled in my head lately and um, I thought I would talk it out on camera. Um, I find that trying to articulate it helps me think and process. I didn't know how my journal with me video was going to land and I'm so happy that a couple of you did it and shared a line from your journal. So I, I knew that a uh, majority of the people who watched it wouldn't actually write along. I know it's like an extra step and it's totally fine if you didn't. Um, so it's like extra cool that some people did. Yeah, I, I just like knowing that you actually, like people actually trusted me to guide them along on an activity. Um, it's been a while since I've facilitated anything. So I've been trying to operate Bitter Melon Bindery full time for eight months now. And at this moment, I am taking time to reflect. When I noticed that I stopped feeling excited about shop orders, I decided to take my shop on break. And it's been a week since it's on break. And it definitely has been a relief. I've been asking myself this question of whether it's sustainable to keep running um, a bookbinding business and whether it's scalable. If I get a lot of orders and I'm making books every day, I'm still not really making the level of income that I want. And that's kind of why I started YouTube because I need to be working on something else. Well, you know, something complimentary that's gonna help me in the long run. Anyway, I feel like this is uh, boring. <laughs> this is boring information. So what I'm trying to get at is right now, I know that I have low energy and I need to honor that. I need to take a step back from doing shop orders. At first, I, th I blamed my low energy on my anxiety and depression, which has been my go-to default reasoning for a lot of things in my life lately. Um, but another thought popped in my head and maybe I'm bored. And when I thought about feeling bored, I got a little excited because I can deal with boredom. I'm good at being bored because I know what I need when I'm bored. I am almost never bored, but when I am, it allows me to find things that stimulate me, find things that make me excited about creating. Two things I'm asking myself is, am I learning and am I doing my best? And when I ask myself those questions, a lot of ideas and possibilities come up. I think I'll journal to them in more depth, but those are my initial thoughts about I'm, why I'm feeling a lull with my business right now. I'm just tired of keeping up with the pace of e-commerce and finding ways to sell and finding ways to um, be a successful shop that stands out, that is remembered. It's just kind of exhausting um, to figure that out sometimes. And in, in, on good days, I find that all exciting. I find that fun, but lately it's been draining. Um, so I'm taking this time to reflect and these are my thoughts right now. I'll keep you updated on new ideas and new thoughts that come up.
it's the next day. Today I'm feeling a lot more encouraged to work on a backlog of things that I've been thinking about and to brainstorm um, some new ideas as well. It feels daunting to be preparing for the holidays. I just haven't been in heavy production mode probably since 2018, 2019 when I was doing a lot of craft fairs. So I've given myself a lot of time and I will use the opportunity to design new products or improve on existing designs to break up this, um, these next couple months. I, I'm thinking about how many books to make and um, how many of each design I'll make and I took a look at the numbers of what I've sold since January and I'm going to somewhat match the percentages of what I've sold. So, um, so far it looks like I'm going to be offering about the same number of hard covers to soft covers. Um, in a little bit I'll be off to ship some orders, um, pick up some supplies, and then I'll be back to work on some new designs. I recently got the Instax Square printer. Um, I heard that it's more popular these days, so I wanted to try it out for myself and also design an album that is specific specifically for the square. So um, I'm excited to work on that this afternoon.
if you're not taking the portion, you're not being aware of it, and you don't understand. Right. Like, um, it's not, it could be extended that way. It is, it's easier to see these students in astrology. They can have those worries, but most of the time, it's not going to be the worst case scenario. You're just talking about a possible predisposition towards certain types of scenarios that move past each other. Whereas the moon, by relative comparison just zooms through the zodiac every 20 days and as it said the moon and the sun uh, controls the seasons whereas the moon controls the days and the months I didn't do very much today and I feel a little blah about it. I got dressed and learned about astrology. I did pack some um, paper scraps to sell on Etsy. So I'll show you in a bit what those look like. Um, but my wrists are sore from the last couple days. I have used all of my paper that I brought from Japan from my trip a couple years ago. Um, I tried to make them last as long as possible, but now I'm ready to let them go and um, refresh my stock. I made a bunch of front covers for journals and sketchbooks and Instax albums um, with all that paper. And then I cut up the rest and put them into scrap paper packs. So I only have 10 available and I've listed them on Etsy. I'll leave a link to the scrap paper packs in my description. These papers have sentimental meaning for me. And um, they're also just so gorgeous and hard to find. So... I think they'd be perfect for if you like to journal or scrapbook with um, decorative papers. Internally, I'm going through a lot. I'm just refiguring out a lot of my life in terms of my priorities and my relationships and my community, um, family, and naturally it's going to impact my business and my creative process. Because it feels like everything is colliding all at once, I'm regularly learning and relearning and unlearning. And sometimes it feels like every hour is a little bit different. I feel like I'm really exploring my inner world and kind of 
reaching the edges of it. One of the realizations or feelings is feeling like I'm a late bloomer. And what I mean by that is restarting a career when I'm in my late 20s, almost 30. So far, I haven't been feeling very insecure about that, but I think it's been coming up because of this break. I have never had a traditional career. I've always created jobs for myself, minus my university days where I was a lifeguard and a piano teacher, um, whatever part-time jobs I could find. As soon as I graduated university, I created my own job providing services for low-income seniors in Chinese because they didn't exist at the moment. So I admire my younger self for being so fearless and confident in her dream and um, there was a lot of self-belief at the time. And I still have a lot of that self-belief. It's just kind of influenced by my hardships and I guess there's some anxiety about starting over many years later when I'm starting to think about being able to provide for my future. And the future is looking real expensive. I'm hopeful and optimistic and I'm always encouraged to hear about other late bloomers, especially those who are older than me that are restarting their careers, or trying something new in a big way. I think this concept of being a late bloomer is old. I think it's out of date, Um, but it's still there because I feel it. At the same time, I also feel like I'm doing exactly what I need to be doing to move forward in my life, even when it feels slow and clumsy. So there's a little peek into my inner world and what I've been thinking about and ruminating on. I used to feel really frustrated that I'm not able to articulate exactly what I'm feeling and this avenue has been such a great practice. So I'm really grateful that you're interested and that you're listening and helping me practice this skill that I really want to get better at, which is to share more of myself and use it as a way to connect with others.